I would like to introduce everyone to actor Danny Glover, who's here with us today. A famed actor Danny Glover gets a standing applause at Tuesday's Jackson City Council meeting. The 71-year-old is back in Mississippi to hopefully complete the mission he personally attached himself to about five years ago, standing with Nissan workers on their right to unionize. They've watched the company Nissan renege on promises. Uh, they've watched their, their health plans adjusted, manipulated. They've done a number of other things, and they feel at this particular point in time, and this, this is courageous, I'm telling you, we cannot, we cannot, can, cannot misinterpret this particular moment. Glover took a red-eye flight all the way from Los Angeles Tuesday to once again meet with union workers and ask for support from the Jackson City Council. We've seen what has happened when men and women, communities have stood up in the face of intimidation. Jackson knows that intimidation very well. Mississippi knows that, that story very well. It's a part of the narrative. When the plan opened 15 years ago, 100% of the employees were permanent. Now 40% of the employees are temporary right now. That's real. So there's been, there's been a place, there's been this moment in time when they've said enough is enough, and we have to stand with them. Glover, along with many other Nissan workers, say that since efforts to get the United Auto Workers involved began, workers have been intimidated, threatened, and have had to work in poor conditions. Nissan denies the allegations. The, the, governor, um, uh, the governor of the state of Mississippi, uh, Phil Bryant, has come out uh, against unionizing. What would you say to him? Well, <laughs> whenever we talk about rights, and in this case, workers' rights and civil rights. Sometimes some people are on the wrong side of history. And it, in this, in the 21st century, we need to talk about workers' rights and civil rights in the same voice. And I'm so sorry, and it's unfortunate that the governor is on the wrong side of history. And so after five years of organizing, rallying, and work, Thursday and Friday is D-Day for nearly 3,700 Nissan employees. All eyes are once again on Mississippi as Mississippi's plant is the only Nissan plant without representation for workers. Workers want to be empowered. This is not just paying me some money, having me work countless hours to, to make a living. This is about what is, the, what is the substantial relationship that we have employee to employer. Eric Walker, JSU-TV.